I just say that, you know, I mean, I think it was much tougher in the time that I came into the media. And at that time, you know, uh, young, educated women, a lot of my contemporaries, nobody went into television. Everybody was in the, you know, I mean, multinational companies or in advertising, et cetera, et cetera. And it was really tough and it was really hard at that time for young women to prove themselves in the media. And I must give a lot of credit to Aslam Azhar Saab, who was at that time the MD of PTV, who actually, you know, kind of got my parents to allow me to come on television. And I started by reading the news in English because my Urdu was bad, being an ex Karachi grammar school student, I had a problem with my Urdu. But, you know, I learned Urdu, Urdu through television, and I'm so happy for that. And as a young, educated woman, I thought, what can I do for my, the people of Pakistan, the masses who are not educated? So I thought maybe I could do something that would, you know, be good for them. So that is why a lot of my work, my serials, particularly are on social issues and women's rights in particular. And I feel very proud that I was able to do that, get away with it. And again, you know, it was very tough at that time because they say, Sara Bibi, what are you doing? So I said, what are you doing? Drama is. They said, no, no, but you can't see it. So I said, I'm doing it, let's see what happens. And God bless, Allah and God bless, Allah and God bless. They became popular, people liked them. So with the result, then, the PTV people kept quiet and allowed me to do what I was doing. Like, I mean, you know, the, the name of the first play that I did as a director was, uh, now look at it, Hava Ke Naam in the name of Eve. So, you know, I mean, even at a very young age, I was, you know, into this. And I just feel so happy because then I, I, you know, uh, sort of, even as an actor, I did things to project and promote the educated woman of Pakistan. Because, you know, nobody abroad believes that women, in, at that time, particularly in the 80s, that, you know, women of Pakistan were educated and did things. And, you know, I remember when I, uh, uh, you know, took, went to the Singapore uh, song contest, you know, uh, where I, was representing uh, PTV and Alan Fakir was with me and you know I mean I took my song that I directed and produced Humma Humma Kar Bhaiya okay and even when I was doing that because again I grew up on English music so I knew a lot of fusion and I knew a lot of these things that were happening but not happening in Pakistan you know and I'd seen videos and this is Sarah Bibi Aap Kya Kar Rahi Hai even Alan Fakir came to me my sweetie Bless him. Ke, uh, uh, Adi, ye, 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 kya ho raha hai? Mainne ka kuch bhi nahi, ye aapka gana hai. Main usko zara urdu mein kar rahi hoon, taake zara achha hai log samaj jayen, jinko sindhi nahi aati. And when I did that, and I took, we represented Pakistan at the Singapore festival, music festival. You know, I mean, they couldn't believe it when I met up with a lot of other women from different parts of the world, because there were people from all over the world, they couldn't believe that I was a Pakistani. I said, hello, why not? No, 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 but Pakistan, I said, excuse me. Yes, Pakistan, we are educated women, we are doing things, and I directed and produced this song. That is what we can't believe. I said, excuse me, well, you have to start believing this. We have, and at that time they had started, uh, you know, women had come in and, you know, as pilots or were learning, you know. So I said, we even have people in the armed forces, girls, you know, and women. So they were in a state of shock. But I said, hello, get used to it. So I'm very proud that, you know, I managed to do these things. And whether it was music or drama, I, as a director, felt that I could contribute more. And I did a lot of that thing, like, I mean, Havaki Beti, again, it was, why, why aren't our girl children educated? And girls and boys are equal. We have to do that, and we have to see that our women, our girls, are equal to the boys and the men. And I'm very 
you know, grateful that Havva Ki Beti, there were only four episodes of it. Usually we did 13 episodes or longer, you know, and just four episodes. And when I was doing this, I said, Sarah Bibi, what are you doing? And at that time, Anwar Maksood was, had written his first serial, which was, a, you know, uh, and they said, you direct that, right? I said, no, I have done this with you, that I have to do this, Havva Ki Beti. I feel really grateful that these things were watched by the audience because I do believe in one thing and that's what I've always worked on. That since our masses were not educated, I wanted to reach them through the storyline and emotions and I managed to do that. So, you know, it was the heart that, you know, uh, uh, I got to them through the heart, through emotions. And like even Zebu Nisa was the first serial on domestic violence. And even for that, they said, nee, nee, Sarah Bibi, ye, ye, kya? because it, I said, there'll be no glamour in it, nothing. It was a lower middle class, middle class family. And I was dealing with the fact that why should men have to mistreat their wives and it should be taken for granted? No. And in the end, I gave it a positive end, which is that eventually when, you know, the husband has bashed his wife and she loses her first child, she decides to leave him. And she does. And everybody says, what are you doing? No, 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 you know, I mean, she leaves him and she goes back to education. And she starts teaching in a Montessori. So I gave it a positive end. And because I've been very lucky and I'm very grateful that I have a good husband, I also showed the better side of men. Like I showed the fact that, you know, the husband comes to get her back and the brother and the father say no. You know, don't, don't you dare try and mistreat her now, she's with us. And in the end, uh, a lot of my, uh, you know, feminist friends got very annoyed with me, even Asma Jahangir, God rest her soul in peace, I adore her, she did so much. She said, Saira, why? Because the end that I showed was positive in the sense I showed that the husband apologizes to the wife. And she says, I'll meet you in a public place because I'm scared of meeting you privately. They meet in a public place and he says, I'm sorry, please come back. She says, it's too late now, but maybe later. Freeze frame, end. That's where I ended it. And I do believe that if we learn, we can do better, we can do a lot. It's very important. And I do believe in women's rights and social issues and equality of both men and women. And I have a son and a daughter, God bless. And I have always brought up my son, Ali, equal to my daughter, Nida. God bless. And everyone, please, 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 today, as Atika said, it's uh, Women's Day. So God bless all of us. Take care. and. Have a good life. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you very much.